subscribe to get wow videos and press the notification button so that you can never miss any video assalamu alaikum friends how are you doing hope you are doing very well so today in this video i am going to show you that how will we use labs their derivation to link our projects so i have defined two projects task 1 and task 2 as example look in our daily routine projects we face a lot of such problems in which we do need just two days to finish our job completely to finish our task completely let me say precisely to finish our task completely but sometimes our task completed on weekends right so let for example here our task one is going to end on friday look it's going to end on friday and friday afterwards we have saturday and sunday as our predefined off days right so what i have to do here i am using labs duration so task 2 is linked with task 1 so how it is linked look to to start the task 2 after the task 1 we have to have at least 2 days to start task 2 so in this special scenario if i just define the linking as for fs finish to start so directly move to monday it takes two days saturday and sunday to complete the task 1 to finish the task 1 let's say we are doing computing and we need two days to dry out our computer and to gain its strength but let's suppose we have the scenario of thousands tasks together So if task one is get delayed, so let's suppose if I'm getting it to two days, so what we have to do, it will the work on the task one will be done on Friday and the half will be done on Monday. So we need two days. So look, we have linked it to FS. So its task two is starting directly after the task one, but in the original scenario we need two days. So that means we need two days to be added. After the finishing of task one, so how will we add it? Let's move. So what will we do in the predecessor column? We will write at fs or whatever ss or es or whatever. Which linking type are we using? Here I am using fs. So link my task nine with at through finish to start plus two days. So look, it creates a two day difference between. So the first task is going to finish on Monday. And the second task is going to be done. It's going to start on Thursday. So that's simple. But we talked about elapsed duration. So elapsed duration means, look, if I just change this to one day again, so what happens? Look, we need two days, for example, for our country to gain strength. Here, the program takes four days: Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Look, the second task is due on Wednesday. It should be shifted on Monday because we have two days, Saturday and Sunday, and Monday. So it's not using that day. That means the program is cannot. The program is not calculating Saturday and Sunday as a working day. So we have to define this to lab days that you should count Saturday and Sunday as a day in your calculation, right? So now I am defining lab days. So what do lab days do? Let's take count Saturday and Sunday and move our task two to the Monday. So how? Let me show you. What will we do? We will define again at fs plus. We have to add just simple e and then type days. So what does it do? It just bring the task from Wednesday to Monday. So that's so simple. That's how we use elapsed duration. So basically, what does elapsed do? Labs counts weekends as well, or your off days in the calculation. That's all. I hope you like this. So thumbs up my video and like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.